guys, welcome back to another episode of Why I Hate This Movie. I'm your host, Derek Rios, and with always with my co-host and heterosexual life mate, Danny Newton. How you doing, Danny? Pretty good, Derek. How are you? I'm doing fine. Mm-hmm. So today we're talking about uh, a movie that predates me. Yes, it's, predates both of us. It's 1981, Dragon Slayer. Mm-hmm. I wasn't sure what my expectations was going to be. I knew that this was something that I wanted to watch. But, I don't know, it's got a lot of good pieces in it. It's got a lot of, you know, what well, looks like just bad stuff now, but, you know, we're almost 40 years removed, so... Yeah, don't remind me. <laughs> I had never heard of this movie. I hadn't either. Whenever I was, I was basically just looking up sword and sorcery movies, mm-hmm. right? And there was a lot of the traditional stuff like you would expect, like Conan the Barbarian and Crawl and stuff like that. Yeah. And then there was this, and I never heard of this before in my life. And by the thumbnail cover of it, I was just like, why have I never heard of this? This looks like it'd probably be up my alley, right? It's definitely up our alley, but like everything out of the 80s, it just kind of sucked. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> this is true. It was not It was not great. There was a lot, story-wise, it had a lot of repetition in it. A lot of parts that kind of didn't matter. As far as, like, visual effects and stuff like that goes, when it's good, it's good. And when it's not, it's not. Yeah, it felt like there was a lot of um, green screen, I guess. Which Almost. they didn't have. I don't think they had green yeah. screen back then, right? So, like, when the wizard's doing his little spell or whatever at the first, like the yeah. flames in his face and stuff like that, I thought that looked pretty good for the time. Yeah. And like we talked about off mic, some of the dragon stuff looked really good, but then some of the dragon stuff looked really mm-hmm. bad. <laughs> yeah. Like all the, um, I guess it's animatronics. Yes. All, all the animatronic stuff with the dragon look good because I mean, it's still real. Yeah. But when it's the distant shots of the dragon, like flying around doing stuff. The, the flying around part looked bad. Everything yeah. where the dragon's like crawling around in the cave, mm-hmm. I thought looked really sweet. Yeah. But as far as like the big animatronics is, it, it looked like he was being attacked by a stuffed animal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which I was really worried because the first half of the movie, it doesn't actually show the dragon. It just no. shows like pieces of it. Like here's, no. a, here's a chicken leg and here's <laughs> a tail that we're going to move across the ground. And I was really worried it's going to be that the whole movie and never really show the dragon. Yeah. But they actually eventually get to showing the whole dragon. And yes. It's a, a tiny little guy. Yeah, I felt like this was more of a Dungeons and Dragons movie than we got in 2000. Well, I also think that <laughs> the graphics were on par with the 2000. Movie yes, <laughs> I think the graphics in this was better. Yeah, somehow <laughs> than the 2000. Movie. 19 years later, they just regressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this looked this looked actually way better than the 2000 <laughs> D and D movie. Storyline wise, it's pretty basic. It, it's, it, I mean, it's it's pretty boring through and through yeah for the most part there was some neat stuff in it i liked i liked the levitation effects they used for the apprentice mage Mm -hmm. i thought that was kind of neat i think it was just strings and i'm sure it was just strings added out the strings and i'm sure it was just like a reverse camera work and stuff like that when they were all filmed backwards Mm -hmm. there was a lot of that i don't know it's it's really cookie cutter it's um we have our village over here that's being at you know, dominated by essentially the dragon lord, mm-hmm. right? And the townspeople are just sick of sacrificing their people to this thing. So they come and talk to the high mage or whatever over here in his little keep. Mm-hmm. Hey, mage, why don't you come kill this dragon? Because mages are notoriously Good out there slaying dragons. dragons. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, I mean, a few people were. But for the most part, it felt like the king was fine with it and the religion was perfectly like, yeah. yeah. This is, this is this part of our culture now. Yeah. Um, we got to sacrifice a virgin. They did a lottery. So they hold lotteries. And it took, it took half the movie to realize what was happening. Yeah. It doesn't explain it until about halfway through. I feel like all that should have been swapped. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. I feel like we should have had all the lottery stuff to begin with to tell us what's going on. Yeah. And then it should have been those little group of characters going to this place to get our, our wizard. Yeah. So it's kind of so, like Hunger Games. Yeah. yeah. Another thing Hunger Games rips off. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they don't explain a lot. No. And they're just like, eh, they'll figure it out maybe. Every, don't. every character in this was cynical. Mm-hmm. Like really cynical. The king of this kingdom is like keeping his daughter's name out of the hat. Mm-hmm. And if you're rich, 
your daughter's name doesn't go into the hat to be drawn out. Yeah. But everybody else in the village, I'm assuming they're all Christian for the most part. Whatever this religion is. Yeah. yeah. They have crosses and they... they no, no. They actually call themselves Christian at one point in this. Okay, yeah. So they are literally Christian priests. You know, the Christianity is one of those... Um, yeah. Big fantasy religions <laughs> yeah that's that's totally threw me off i was expecting a fantasy-esque religion yeah. but nope they just went with just yep. christianity i'm sure anything else at the time would have been blasphemous and seen as devil worshiping i'm assuming it's illegal to uh have sex out of wedlock or something because every girl in this village is a virgin unless she's married yeah well so <laughs> that's the christian religion right you're yeah. supposed to be married and I'm, I'm back in the day, if you weren't married and had sex, you the woman was ostracized. Mm-hmm. And then, I don't know, they, they probably just burned her at the stake or literally just burned her to a dragon. Yeah. <laughs> it's here. Yeah. So the, the way the lottery works, which we find out eventually, is that only females, mm-hmm. are, names are drawn and only uh, virgins, apparently. Yeah. Which is a real easy way to fix that. Yeah. <laughs> Problem solved. Yeah. But, <laughs> so the... The chick, the love interest in the movie, yeah, is pretending to be a guy. Yes, which is also her their, whole life. Her, yeah, her whole life. She, her father, who's a blacksmith, she just raised her as a boy. That way, she, it keeps her name out of a lot of. And they don't explain that why no. she's pretending to be a boy. And they're just like, oh, so you're not in the lotto. And I was, I thought it was like a military draft or something. Well, they don't explain it till almost halfway through the movie. Yeah, right. I, I feel bad talking about it like this because literally. To explain it properly, you have to explain it in reverse order. Mm-hmm. Because you start out not knowing what's going on. And then by the time it finally tells you, the movie's almost over. Yeah. Right? The king institutes a draft, rounds up all the virgins in the village, and everybody, every virgin's name is on a tile, and it's pulled at random, supposedly. Mm-hmm. Right? And then that person gets chained up and fed to this dragon as part of like a deal with it. To just appease it for like five year stints. Mm-hmm. Right? So that, that argues. Is it five years? Yeah. Because so they that, never say the time. That argues that this creature is intelligent enough to enforce a contract with people. Yes. Effectively. Right. That would have been cooler to see. Well, the, tree, the creature also doesn't really have a treasure hoard. So it's not a no, typical dragon. No, not at all. So it, it would have been really cool to see it have a voice like Dragonheart. Right? But they didn't do that. They just kept this dragon animalistic. Yeah. But for some reason, it can keep the terms of the deal. Like, I'm going to do whatever to this girl, and I'll see you in another five years for another virgin. Did they say five years? Yes. Because they felt like it was every other month. Well, after they pissed it off, they were just like, oh, we got to feed it virgins real fast <laughs> <laughs> to make up for this. <laughs> or it's going to burn our village. So, <laughs> they... um. They go to this this wizard, like, hey, man, you know, you used to roll with all these other, like, ancient heroes, and we really, we knocked on their doors first, but they're all dead, mm-hmm. <laughs> right? It's just you. Can you go take care of this problem we got over here? And he's like, yeah, sure. And <laughs> uh, he, and his solution, though, oh, is... So- they 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 want to test him the the king's guard or whatever this guy is. yeah uh, what's that? well Ulrich. Ulrich no 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 Ulrich is um Ulrich's the wizard yes Ulrich is the wizard uh Tyrion Tyrion is essentially like the king's thugs yeah but the king doesn't want this dragon to be screwed with mm-hmm. so Tyrion is essentially here to kill this wizard yeah and this dude's like. Yeah, I'll let you test me. And the test is, eh, stab me in the heart. Go for it. Here, here's my knife. Yep. You're gonna stab me some. And he just stabs when he, he dies. He just stabs when he dies. Yes. <laughs> and then they're just like, oh, shit. Uh, I uh, guess we better go. And then leave. Yeah. Just this runoff after murdering this old guy. Well, I guess, uh, guess he didn't pass the test. <laughs> <laughs> All this wizardy <laughs> shit is bullshit. <laughs> Correct. Yes, it is. <laughs> so... In his the, that's the wizard's plan though. He he wanted to die. Yes. That way, I don't know. He they can... they burn him on a pyre and ashed him. Yep. And then the uh, wizard's other helper, which is another old guy, mm-hmm. gathered up all his ashes and put them in a little bag, in yeah. a little bag. 
Yeah. They don't tell us this, by the way. They don't tell us this no. until later when the Tyrion asshole shows up again and kills the old guy yeah. for some reason. He kills the 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 older <laughs> guy, the wiz the, the the wizard's butler, effectively. Yeah. Which is for some reason he really likes murdering old people. Yeah. And there's no reason to kill this guy. Why don't you just open up on the rest of the group? They're all just sitting out there in the open. Huh. He murders that person and then runs away again. Yeah. He just shoots him with an arrow and he just leaves. Yeah. <laughs> Finish the job. They're all right here. It's like, no, that's what that just does not like old people. But the old guy tells him dump the dump his ashes in a lake of fire. Mm -hmm. Because for some reason that's the wizard's plan. Yeah. Is here, you're gonna get this pendant, wear it around your neck. It's gonna give you minor powers. Yeah. You know, you can cast cantrips. Woo. <laughs> and eventually dump my ashes in the lake of fire and it's going to reconstitute me somehow. Yeah. I guess it's just like a freeze drying process and mm -hmm. just another full, you know, plump wizard comes out the other side. I don't, I don't know. It's, <laughs> he's casting rebirth. Okay. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. Yeah. He's reincarnation. Reincarnation. Yeah. Well, that's a druid spell. What's a, uh, I don't know what the wizard spell for it is. Uh, the cleric spell is just resurrection. And this is the wish. So my problem with the movie is that the main character, the the apprentice, he, he's not a he's not a hero. Yeah, and not then, at all. And then B, he's not a wizard. <laughs> you know who should have been the hero of this movie? Uh, Valerian, the chick, the chick. Yeah, yeah Valerian. Yeah. And if they would have did it the other way, I could have totally seen her being like an Ellen Ripley esque character. No nah, man, that's his girl boss before girl boss is the <laughs> thing. <laughs> I could have seen her being a strong lead, mm -hmm. but because they swapped it around like this for some reason, it turned this kid into the main character. Yeah, which it wasn't his story. No, at all. But this uh, that kid was the only recognizable actor. Yeah, the entire movie. I'm sure a, a lot of these people were actors back in the day. Yeah, right. Yeah, way before our time. But but I didn't recognize well, anything. Way. I didn't recognize any of these people from anything modern. I don't even know what that kid is. Even else is whatever he else has been in. Well, uh, that's um. Well, his name is Peter Mac McNichol. Yes, Peter McNichol. And um, the main thing I recognized him from was Ghostbusters Two. Yeah, he plays like that goofy guy from that but um outside of that like he's done a bunch of voice acting a bunch of minor roles so okay i'm sure some of these older actors i just don't know yeah they're big time actors. well the it's like the the old wizard the king and stuff like that these mm -hmm. guys reminded me of like old school almost like play actors yeah, yeah. like Maybe Broadway or Shakespearean actors or something, right? Which the king's name was ridiculous. Cassiodorus Rex, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty badass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, it's so it's weird. Yeah. I love the princess's name. Oh, yeah. It's Elspeth. Princess Elspeth. Yeah. yeah. I wrote that down. I was like, whoa. 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 So I, I need to sue wizards. <laughs> I think you got something to answer for, Hasbro. Yeah. Well. <laughs> That was it was that was a wizard thing way before Hasbro bought him, but <laughs> I'm fine with Hasbro being sued. <laughs> after we kill the wizard, after we kill the wizard's older henchmen, it's just they go back to the kingdom and on their way to the kingdom, they're bypassing this dragon's lair. Mm -hmm. And this kid is like, Yeah, I wanna see it. I wanna take a look at it. It's just a <laughs> hole in the ground, bro. What do you want to take a look at? And then he he just dumps a rock slide into the entrance. It's like, yep, I killed it. <laughs> <laughs> the great dragon slayer. <laughs> so this dragon slayer is like really easy to access, by the way. It's just like in the middle of the road on, on the way to the kingdom. I'm assuming it just has several outlets. It's just catacombs. No, they say that's the only way in and out. Well, that's what the chick says. Apparently it dug another one. <laughs> so, I just think it removed the stones. Yeah. Literally, that was his idea. Like, oh, I'm just going to dump rocks into its hole and it's trapped down there. And I, I killed it. That's a good That's a good plan. It's a lot better than the plan he ended up with. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot better than spreading ashes in a fire water. Yeah. For some, they did, they, that could have just been nothing. Yeah. He could have just done the job. <laughs> After that, 
<clears throat> we go back to the village and celebrate our with our conquering heroes and uh, our lead woman decides that she wants to dress like a woman again and wants people to know it. So she comes out. Mm -hmm. Well, she puts makeup on that way that people know she's a girl. Yeah. Yeah. She transitions and transitions back to being a girl, which I was just like, why is this supposed to be a guy? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and then she, it's so weird that she just refers to herself. I, I used to be a guy, you know, yeah, like she, can she literally says that. <laughs> the whole movie is like, I used to be a guy. It's like, what, are, you, are you transitioning? What's happening here? Uh, she's just letting you know she can piss in whatever bathroom she wants. Okay. You're right. You're right. You, you understand? <laughs> <laughs> but she tries to pretty herself up and they have like a little square dance and mm. the three Kings douchebags yeah. come back in. It's like, Hey, the King wants to talk to you. Then this ain't optional. The King wants to talk to you mm -hmm. and just, Snatches that dude and drags him back to the castle. At the castle, he tries to show off his great wizarding powers of levitating things. And he literally, he pulls a chicken out of a hat kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for some reason, the little pendant he's wearing is not working. He's not you, able to flex his powers. You think it's because his master's upset that he... That he's trying to, that he's trying to flex? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Because he's, his soul is in it. He's a showboating? Yeah. Yeah. Because his master is a lich. Mm -hmm, apparently. And that pendant is the lich's phylactery. The pendant is just a D8, by the way. <laughs> yeah, the pendant is just a D8. It's a D8 on a necklace <laughs> <laughs> that glows. <laughs> so, unimpressed, um, the king snatches the pendant off his neck, throws the dude in a cell. After that, the king's playing with the pendant, trying to turn lead into gold. Mm -hmm. Because apparently alchemy is a thing that you can do. Makes sense. And while they're messing with this, hey, that dragon we didn't kill, uh, the ground's starting to smoke outside. I think it's uh, digging its way back to the surface. Mm. <laughs> it's uh, it's cooking the soil. And in the chaos of like the earthquakes it's causing, trying to get back out, our protagonist escapes the cell, you know, because Elspeth found out that no, rich people don't have to be in the lottery. And she's very upset by this. Mm. So she lets him out. There's a lot of uh, rigging of elections and uh, yeah, uh, government. It's very topical. Yeah, yeah. So naturally, the dragon that we that wasn't directly under the rock slide and was just very upset that we threw rocks in its hole. <laughs> yeah, uh, starts torturing the countryside. This, you know what? This this king is very relatable to yeah. our president. <laughs> by the way. <laughs> He does a lot of the same shit. Maybe Trump watched this. No, I'm sorry, ex-president. Yeah. He's very relatable to Trump. Hey. I'm sorry. Hi. Still our president. He's still our president, okay? He's rigging elections, yes. trying to, and uh, he's in love with his daughter. Yes. <laughs> he stares at an eclipse directly at the sun <laughs> in yes. an eclipse. Wants everything covered in gold. Yep. Wants everything covered in gold. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Takes credit for everything. Yeah. 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 This is just... <laughs> this is King Trump. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, after the dragon is obviously still alive and gets out and torches the countryside, then we have to have another lottery right now. we got to feed this thing some virgins to calm it down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh... Hey, at least all these virgins are hot. Elspeth rigs the, uh, the drawing and makes all the tiles her name. Mm-hmm. She's so righteous. Yeah. So righteous. I'm going to go sacrifice myself for the greater good of my kingdom. Yeah. And the king's like, no, nope, nah, we're going to redraw. Bro, uh, she is dedicated to this idea. Yeah. <laughs> Our wizard kid is like, I'm going to go fight the dragon. Nobody else in this community obviously has the, the courage to go do this. So I'm going to go do it. Mm -hmm. It's like, hey, blacksmith, do you make weapons at all? And blacksmith say hey, like hey man i made this spear it's a dragon slayer spear it's, it's pretty good it'll kind of rake through metal mm -hmm. so the wizard kid like magics is up they hammer it on and some more get it fine honed to where it just easily slices steel in half we're gonna go rock we're gonna go kill a dragon and valerian yeah. Also takes these little dried up leaves they call dragon scales. Dragon scales, which are just laying around everywhere. Like they just shred it. Dragons shred scales like hair. Well, do you think a dragon sheds like a snake? 
obviously in this world. I I I don't though. I don't th- I don't either. Because D and D scales are very valuable. Yeah. And I, you don't just find them laying around in the woods like right. snake skin. I think they grow back and they can lose scales. Yeah. But it's more of like ripping off your fingernails. Right. Yeah. I would think so too. Oh, you left something important out too, where oh, yeah. the kid gets caught stealing back the, the D8 necklace. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the king is like, no, just let him. I want you to have it. Yeah. Because I need you to go save my daughter. That's yeah, the yeah. reason he goes and fights the dragon. That's true. The king is like, yeah, my daughter wants to go commit suicide. I need you to save her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because the, the people were going to riot if he if he rigged the election again. Yeah. And the king's goons are at the point of, no, nah, she got to die. Yeah. Somebody's got to die. Yeah. Or if it, that doesn't happen, we're all going to die. Mm-hmm. Right. So the king's like, all right, I'll give you your thing back. Go save my daughter. Yeah. And then, so he gets short. He, so he gets his little dragon slayer spear and mm-hmm. his little paper mache shield. Yeah. That makes him immune to fire, apparently. Well, I mean, it was stand to reason that a dragon can't melt its own scales. I agree. But that doesn't mean the flames can't go around <laughs> <laughs> the shield. No, okay. That's uh, how shield. That's. Oh. That's fluid dynamics. You're it was, right. Eddie. Yeah. That's beside the point. Okay. You're right. You're right. It blocked the shot. Okay. Right? As the fire breathes on The magical first. item says you have resistance to fire, then you just have resistance to fire. Okay. Okay? Doesn't matter if it's a ring or if it's... It just it's says not, you get it. He's immune to fire. This is true. He gets breathed on for like 10 full minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like. Yeah, he gets breathed on for a while. I was expecting this thing to like actually claw at him and shit and never did Uh, i guess they couldn't afford that you can only get one chicken leg in a movie okay yeah (laughs) (laughs) did have chicken legs (laughs) you know uh, so they sacrifice the princess right yeah and so he's gonna go save the princess and uh, first of all the the way they sacrifice these girls is there's just a nail on a post yeah. near the dragon's cave. It's an iron spike in a post. Yep, and mm-hmm. it just just like a like a wall, like like a, you're, you're like a you're hanging something. Well, on it's kind of L shaped. Okay, right, slightly L shaped. So they toss they the loop them, of the shackle, and they over. toss the loop of the shackle. Yeah. Any woman, the the first girl in this movie we see getting sacrificed, rends the skin. Off of her yes. hands and wrist to get free of this mm-hmm. and still gets eaten. Well, she could have just jumped <laughs> she, like, very easily or just climbed the pole a little bit. There's there, there's nothing stopping these women from getting off of this shackle post. Besides, the, the, the princess wanted to be sacrificed. Right. She was dedicated to it, man. Like uh, our, our, boy, our boy shows up to free her. Mm-hmm. and save her and then Tyrion shows up to stop him and kill him because no she needs to die so that we don't and then we get the this weird he uses the spear to cut her chains mm-hmm. and then she just walks into the hole anyways yep she's like nope I gotta die and runs off into the hole while they're fighting and with this this really weird lightsaber-esque battle yeah that they I think they just saw Star Wars a couple years before and was like, yeah I hey, man that's how fighting is it was very much like that like I could understand like I said I can understand the spear throwing sparks because it's a magical weapon now mm-hmm. but his sword should not have been also throwing sparks it's off not, of stuff when it I, hit stuff it felt like that was what they wanted but it was just flashes of light whenever they would hit yeah and it just it looked really bad. And the yeah. choreography was terrible. Oh, yeah. So he he finally defeats... He can't beat Tyrion, actually, in the combat. So he kind of... Because he's not a fighter either, or a magic wielder. So he stabs through the post as Tyrion's just leaning against it and kills him. Yeah, because this thing cuts through solid steel mm-hmm. like it's nothing. So, yeah, he just thrusts through it and thrusts through him. And catches him off guard and kills him. Yep. Because Tyrion was just winning the fight, hands down. Yeah. Spear shouldn't be able to do that. Ugh. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> but also it makes sense that he would just lean halfway, like mid-body against a post in the middle of a combat fight. So. He's winded, man. Sure. He's winded. I Sure. <laughs> he was taking cover behind it. 
<laughs> he was winning. Why yeah. would you take cover? Uh, anyways. But so, so he kills him. It's like, I got to go save the princess. Yeah. Got to go save the princess. And then the princess is just dead. Yeah. <laughs> she's princess getting, is dead. She's all. getting chewed on by the baby dragons. <laughs> yes. These dragons bite her fucking foot off. Yeah. One. <laughs> One's chewing on her face, I guess, and the other one's just chewed her, chews her foot off. What a terrible way to die. I, that's what she wanted. <laughs> well, <laughs> congratulations. She got exactly what she wanted. But I wasn't sure she was dead yet. And he kills these babies yep. because he's a monster <laughs> and then <laughs> runs off. Yeah, he's got a fun big dragon. Yeah, he just runs off to kill the big dragon. And I was like... Is she dead? No, she's definitely dead. I guess she's dead. Maybe they. Just, I, mean, I just figured they. Child, like, okay, her foot's gone. Maybe she's just unconscious. Nope. But yeah, dead. she's dead now. <laughs> he so, didn't even check. <laughs> <laughs> so he goes and finds the dragon and gets in a tussle with it. It breathes on him, but his shield protects him. Well, 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 you're forgetting a very important part. Am I? When he goes, he, the the dragon has a lair that's full of water, right? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a big catacomb. And he's just sitting there looking around for the dragon. And the dragon just stealths. It's a huge dragon. It just stealths out of the water behind him before he even notices. So, (laughs) you know what this dragon reminded me of? Godzilla. Yeah. It reminded me of Godzilla. Mm -hmm. Because it come out of the water behind him, like Godzilla rising up out of the sea. Mm -hmm. And then just like our hero turns around and is like, "Uh uh-oh. Just breathes on him. Yeah. <laughs> because, yeah, I'm sure it would. I'm saying that dragon has a pretty good stealth for a huge creature. Oh, it's underwater and it's really dark in here except for all the flames coming out of yeah, everything. Flames and fire <laughs> and light being emitted by it. But, you know, no, no, no. I just think the hero, our, our, our hero is, <laughs> air quotes, hero, <laughs> is just... Not good at anything. No. He doesn't have a spot check. Like he can't. No. He has no perception. <laughs> he is bad at everything. <laughs> he can't sword fight. He can't actually use magic on his own. He let the princess die. Yeah, he let the princess die. <laughs> or you know, definitely dead now. Yeah. <laughs> All he had to do was leave her chained to the post yep. to save her life. And then he immediately runs away from the dragon. Well, he sticks at some. Oh, yeah, well, right. So he when it. Breathes on him in the water. He runs out of the, that part of the catacomb mm-hmm. and hides in another part of the catacomb. Right? Yeah. Which the I dragon, get he was using the hit run attack, right? Yeah. And then he jumps. The dragon goes underneath him. He jumps on it. Yeah. And starts stabbing at it. Which him. I thought he was going to like come down mm-hmm. both hands through the back head. of its head or something. Nope. Waited. Jumped on, jumps on his neck. Yeah. Jumps on the back of his neck. And then it's just like clank, clank, clank. Hits in the back of the neck a few times. Stabs it pretty yeah. good. The dragon throws him off. He picks the spear back up and stabs it in the throat. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, okay, all right, stab it in the heart, yeah. right? Do the thing. Mm-mm. I thought this movie was going to be over right here. No. No. <laughs> no. So the dragon's like, it like snaps the spear. Yeah, bites and, the spear in half. He's pissed off. It's still alive. Mm-hmm. And it starts breathing fire on him. And he, he picks the shield back up. And then we cut to nothing. Yeah. And then it's like, fight over. Like, then, I, so what happens, and they never, I don't know why this is a thing, but they never explain it, but it's a thing. Yeah. That's how it works in the movie, apparently, is that the dragon can't go in sunlight. What? The dragon can't walk in sunlight. It only comes out at night. when. So he crawls out of the cave after yeah. the dragon breathes fire on him, and he's in daylight. So that's why the dragon doesn't pursue him. And the only time the, the he at the end of the movie when he fights the dragon is during an eclipse. Wow. <laughs> you just broke my brain. <laughs> Why? Why? You didn't notice that? I mean, I never put it together. Yeah. That the dragon just can't come out in sunlight. Yeah. It just I don't know why. It's a vampire dragon, apparently. <laughs> oh, well, that would make more sense why it's only sucking blood out of virgins. I mean, that's what I do. It likes that extra virgin olive oil. Mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand all these old movies where they sacrifice virgins. What, what's the what's the big hype? What I don't makes get it so it. special? I know it gets like pure or whatever, but it's like that's like a weird religious thing. 
if you're going to heaven and you want to have a good time, wouldn't you want like the slutty girls to know how to have fun? Exactly. You don't want some inexperienced girl who's going to like just never actually know anything that's going on. Yeah. What they're doing and it's going to be painful for them. Exactly. I, I don't, I don't get it. I don't know, man. Vampire dragons. Who knows? But well, did you know what the dragon's name was? The dragon had a name? Mm-hmm. No, I didn't know. I don't think they say it. No, they don't say it at all. It's actually Vermithrax. Oh, I think they do say it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's Vermithrax. And actually, George Martin, the Game of Thrones writer, mm-hmm. he names, uh, I think they mention it in the series, one of the old dragons from the one of the... House of the Dragons dragons? Ha- House of the Dragons dragons was actually named uh, Vermithrax. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, he he, used, he reused that name. That's cool. So after all this happens, the dragon is still not dead. Apparently, it has to be fought in an eclipse to get it outside during the daytime. Our apprentice wizard and Valerian are going, just going to skip town. Yeah. Because they were unsuccessful, and everything's going to get pillaged now, and the king's definitely going to kill them. I was really hoping that's how the movie would end. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, they just walk away, he lost, and he's just like, yeah, I'm not a And hero. they were going all in on it, too. Yeah, yeah. And then at the last minute, he's like, wait, I got this bag. It's got my uh, my former master's ashes in it. <laughs> it wants to be thrown in the lake of fire. Duh. The, the entire lake was on fire in the dragon's lair. So he goes and sprinkles his boss's ashes in that. You know what other lake was on fire? The one he was staring at. Yes. Was on fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because he was having a vision. Was he? Yeah. Okay, I thought... That actually happens twice. Okay. So, it's like a Galadriel in the mirror. Mm-hmm. He has visions like that. I, I remember the first vision. <clears throat> I, I thought the actual... The, the lake was being set on fire. Yeah. So, he runs back down to the dragon's lair. Mm-hmm. Again. Without his spear this time. Because he has nothing. No. And dumps his boss's ashes in the in the pond down there. Which we, the Valerian goes with him, and we, we see clearly that the princess has been buried. Yes. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> yes. Here's what's less, this is what's left of Princess Elspeth over there. Mm. Parts laying around <laughs> with a white cloth thrown over it. I mean, Elspeth <laughs> died in the magic lore too, but she'll be, she'll come back. Yeah. <laughs> so he sprinkles them in there, and for some reason, the magic of the water brings them back to life. Who knows? Wish spell. Who knows? Yeah. Yep. It, it's D&D. Magic works or it doesn't. Yep. So he's back to life momentarily. He's now Oryx the White. Yes. He was the gray in, in the Citadel, yeah. but yeah. now he is the white. You can tell because he's wearing <clears throat> white clothes. White robes. He's like, I'm going to go on the mountaintop over here and do battle with this dragon and destroy that pendant. You'll know when. Mm-hmm. How? <laughs> He just says you'll know, bro. You'll know. You'll you'll get it. I figured he would had the feeling that when the dragon was swooping down, about to attack his master, that he'd be like, "Oh, I should do it now." But he waits. No, he waits and until his master's almost dead again. Yeah, it, like the dragon picks up the master's, carrying him off. This kid is so <laughs> stupid that he doesn't know when. No, the thing he has that shows no idea him when. is that when it starts glowing. So the the stone starts growing glowing really brightly. This dude is almost dead, right? Mm-hmm. He, he summons like a thunderstorm or whatever and puts a couple of lightning bolts into this dragon as it's flying around. Yeah. Right? But this dragon swoops in, hits him a couple of times, and then just grabs him with his claw. And the kid's like, I don't know if this is the right time or not. <laughs> and the old wizard's like, now! Do it now, you idiot! <laughs> <laughs> How is this not the time? So he destroys the D8 and the yeah. wizard explodes. Yeah, because, because the wizard is made out of C4. And that's a factory sold thing. And it turns this dragon inside out when it explodes. Yep. And it goes... Falls out of the sky. The dragon the is literally just bones and meat. Yeah. And then the king walks up, stabs it once. And it's like, all hell the king slayer. The, the, Rex. Yeah. <laughs> all hell Rex the dragon slayer. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great and then the, the heroes just fucking walk off this they, they king is off. not upset in the least nope. that his daughter is dead nope because he is now king rex the dragon slayer <laughs> fair trade uh, and everyone lives happily ever after so this dragon falls out of the air into a pond like dragon heart mm-hmm. yeah there was a lot of like dragon heart s stuff in here and i wish that's why i wish the dragon would have had a voice yeah 
Because I know the guy who did the effects on this and made the dragon effects went on to work on Dragonheart mm -hmm. and was also the top bid to do like the velociraptors and dinosaurs and stuff in Jurassic Park before our computer CGI our CGI got good enough to do it instead. Mm -hmm. Right. Which I love Dragonheart. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. one of my favorites. I think without this. You wouldn't have got Dragonheart. I could see that. I don't think it would have been what it was. No, not at all. Yeah. It probably would have been a big CGI mess or something. Trolls like this made that movie possible. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Was this movie good? No. no, not really. Is this movie kind of important? Yeah. I can see where this movie was probably pretty important. I think it's worth a watch. It's it's kind of slow pacing. It doesn't explain a lot in the beginning, but it, yeah. it kind of goes over it. And there's just stuff that it doesn't tell you, like the dragon can't go in sunlight. Oh, my God. <laughs> and uh, there's some weird visual choices, like the wizard and the apprentice, when the, the company comes, they both put on these, like, helmets that oh have snakes on them that look so stupid. <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. Some of the costuming looks really bad. Yeah. But... I mean, overall, it was entertaining. Yeah, uh, the 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 second half of the movie picks up, and it's 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 funny, bad. Yeah, yeah, it really is. There's a lot of stuff I just I laughed at. Yeah, I think the best part was when the kid was just like, like he when he's awestruck, he has this look in his eyes. It's like just wonderment and joy, and it's pretty pretty great. And then he just tells his wizard. He tells after he resurrects the wizard, he's like. You know, I just, I'm a coward. I'm not a hero. Yeah. I'm not a wizard. I'm kind of <laughs> worthless. And that's the one point in the movie I was like, you know, you're right. <laughs> I agree. You nailed it, kid. You're not a hero. You didn't save your master. You didn't save your other, your master's henchman. You didn't save the princess. Nope. You didn't kill a dragon. No. Nope. <laughs> you, <laughs> you didn't, you didn't break yourself out of jail. No. Nope. The dead princess broke you out of jail. You effectively. <laughs> Failed your way through this entire movie and then somehow lived at the end. You created a rock slide that pissed off a dragon that got so many people killed. Yeah. The only thing he did was say, man, I wish we had a horse right now. And one happened to be walking by. And he's like, I'm a wizard. You're right. Let's go. And rides off into the sunset. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know. It's kind of mid-tier. Yeah. I don't hate it, but it's not really that great. I can't see myself ever watching this again. No, probably not. Probably not. Especially not in another 48 hours. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Which is my rent. I can see how this went on to translate into a lot of other things. Hey, man, we wouldn't have Game of Thrones if this didn't exist, okay? I mean, you may not. <laughs> I, that might, you, know, you never know. Like, like, is, you could obviously see there was some inspirations there. Yeah. That, you know, he reads some of the names, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, I mean, outside of like even magic, I had never heard of Elspeth before. Yeah, no, but this is right way before then. So. This is a predecessor. I, I think a lot of people that made the things that we enjoy mm -hmm. watched this when they were young. Yeah, definitely. I could, I could definitely see that. Um, I'm glad I watched it, but I probably won't be revisiting it. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but I don't know. Yeah, that's about all I got for this. Yeah, thanks for joining us. If uh, you like what we do, hit us up. Let us know in the comment sections. Give us a thumbs up. If you don't like what we do, give us a thumbs down, but let us know why. Hey, man, don't hit that thumbs down. That's mean. <laughs> we don't need that kind of negative press. Well, you know, check us out on uh, Spotify or a couple other places. Bro. Yeah, wherever you stream your podcasts. I wouldn't say wherever, but definitely on Spotify. Yeah. <laughs> There's a couple. All right, thanks for joining us. See you later, guys.